right now, authorities are still searching for Nicholas Wayne Hanlon, who's wanted on first degree murder charges in Monroe County. Authorities say Hanlon called 911 back on October 18th and claimed falsely to have fallen on a hike while being chased by a bear. Deputies then found a man's body near where that call was made, and they are still working to identify that victim. 10 News reporter Ellis Roll reports from Monroe County. I'm here along the Cherahala Skyway in Monroe County, close to where officials say that 911 call was pinged. Now, we have requested a copy of that call, but we do know that in it, Hamlet used the name Brandon Andrade when talking to police and said he had fallen while on a hike after being chased by a bear. Now, that ID with the name Brandon Andrade was found on the victim, but it didn't belong to him. Police are still working to identify him. But we've since learned that that name does actually belong to a real person with connections to Montana. Now, we have requested Hamlet's court records out of Alabama, where he is wanted for a parole violation. We also checked Knox County databases, and he doesn't have a record there, although law enforcement does believe that he lived in the Fort Sanders area at some point in time. We also requested the autopsy report of the victim and asked for an update on the sketch that officials are working on of him. The Monroe County Sheriff's Office did tell me, though, today that they are hoping to have a press conference tomorrow where they can answer some more of our questions. For now, I'll go ahead and send it back to the studio in Monroe County. I'm Ellis Rowe. Investigators do say Hamlet is armed and dangerous, so if you see him, call 911. If you have any information about the case, you're being asked to call the Monroe County Sheriff's Office.